that although set to read only, we will be recording as is our legal right. However, anything you do witness will not be either admissible or provable in a court of law. Hang on. I'm still not sure if this is... right. I need a decision. Now. We're against the clock. Any longer and we risk cellular breakdown. Okay. I'm ready. Phone. Fucking typical. Find him. All right. Who's that? Take him out. Stay, stay away from me. Stay away. Hey, shh. It's okay. I'm a friend. I'm here to help. Oh my god, it's gonna go off! You've got to help me! I heard the code. It's three, zero, zero, one. I'm sure of it. Please, please. Apologies for the theatrics. It's all part of the treatment. Treatment? This will be far more straightforward if you just keep breathing. That's it. Good. That's it, Mr. Black. Black. Relax. Breathe. You're back with us. Minor confusion is expected. What? Who are you? What the hell is this thing on my head? 
Hey! Calm, Mr. Mr. Black. Black, that's all I ask. Your current confusion is a byproduct of your treatment. treatment. All very unfortunate, but I assure you, you are in safe hands. If it helps you focus, you may call me... Red. You. You gassed me. There was something before. Another place. That's why you're here, Mr. Black. But now is not the time for questions. Wait. Wait. A gun. My gun. Consider it security, Mr. Black. A token of trust. How can I trust you when you knock me out and put this thing on my head? To explain, your memory was damaged in the explosion, leaving two questions that you came to us to answer. Why were you there? And who was the girl? I know why I was there. To save the girl. Then we are making progress. Please. Proceed. Proceed with what? Hello? Hey. Hey, friend. Over here. You, you got out. How did you get out? You, you can't leave me here. Just hang on. What's going on here? Where are we? Please, you've got to help me. The switch there, it opens this door. You, you have to help me. this at all. I told you to ignore them, Mr. Black. If the treatment is to succeed, I need your cooperation. Yeah, sure. Although your memory has been affected, your twitch response remains intact. Pure muscle memory. Fascinating. What is this? Place is filled with runaways, criminals, ex-military. Who the fuck am I? And why the fuck am I armed? I understand your curiosity, but there will be time for questions later, Mr. Black. Please, proceed. See that? Let's count together, shall we? One, two, three, four candles. Very good. That's it. Take a deep breath. But remember to make a wish first. Go on. What on earth? The device, Mr. Black, in action. I assure you, he is having a splendid time. Slow down, Mr. Black. Neither of us are going anywhere. And I'm not quite prepared for our first little trip. It will take time for the Pandora unit to fully sync with your memories, so no rush. Enjoy your stay here. We want you to relax. Ah, the Pandora is reacting. Keep your eyes locked and focused. Slow, even breaths. Patience, Mr. Black, calm. Focus. It will take the memory unit a moment to calibrate. Very good. Just relax and allow that image to take you back there. 
You may feel a little disorientated at first, but you will be perfectly safe. The building in the photo is the headquarters for Advanced Defense Strategy, or ADS. They are, or should I say were, the UK's leading weapons manufacturer. They were developing a weapon known as the Corner Gun, which apparently you remember. What the fuck just happened? Is this real? The answer is slightly more complex than the question, I'm afraid, Mr. Black. It's real enough. For now, just relax and explore. Okay. Steal the prototype. The corner gun. Highly likely. We believe someone hired you. Text message says Robert. Probably Robert Ramsey. Worked for a rival company, FDG. So one company hired me to steal from another. Don't worry about piecing it all together, Mr. Black. Just relax and... And relax and explore. Yeah, I got it. What the fuck is that? It's very simple. We programmed in a simulated projection of your real-life scanner. It will help you make sense of any inconsistencies in your synaptic recall. Your memories. An opportunity to engage your mind at last. I'll just shoot your way out of the problem. Careful. Those pipes will burn if you get too close. Burn? I thought this was just a memory. It is. But your brain will give you the sensation of being burned. What affects the mind affects the body. Cause and effect. This is crazy. See? You're more than capable of figuring it all out. What's going on? Something feels... off. Yes, you appear to be experiencing a slight temporal anomaly. You're remembering events in the wrong order. It's just your mind trying to make sense of it. Perfectly normal. Not really. Why don't you approach the firing line? All coming back to you, I see. Kind of. It will soon enough. How much did you know? Crouch and move forward to continue. Was it really you who started all this? Really you who started all this? How much were you responsible for? Yes, building. Technically, you're not even there, Mr. Black. I don't understand how this works. Everyone seems off somehow, but it feels so real. So do dreams, Mr. Black, until you wake up. That's the best way I can explain it. But Pandora is still not fully capable of simulating human behavior. I would advise against creating too much disturbance. Every time you kill someone, you rewrite the memory, cause distortion. Above you are the research labs. I believe that's where you need to go. A warning. You may come across Roger Howard, the CEO. He was personally overseeing the development of the corner gun. The man never sleeps. Although it's late, he may well be around. I don't remember the code to this door. How do I get through? The memory of the code is still there, Mr. Black. You just can't quite access it. Explore your surroundings. The mind has funny ways of helping us recall. I don't understand. You don't need to, Mr. Black. You just need to look around. How much did you know? How much were you responsible for? Was this all your fault? Was it really you who started all this? Turns out you didn't just steal the corner gun. You destroyed their servers. 
erased their data, wiped the corner gun from existence. You're good at your job, Mr. Black, I'll give you that. Well, this Robert Ramsey must have paid well. I'm afraid I've been watching you since the moment you entered the building. Your work is impressive, but the show is over. You have my property, and I want it back. Nothing personal, you understand. Security. Kill him. What are you doing, Mr. Black? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm chasing Howard. No. We have nothing to gain by changing his memory. I'm pulling you out. Stabilizing Full incident system flood. That's it. Stay with us, Mr. Black. I'm pulling you out. I thought this was a simulation. I was... I was there. I could feel it. The pain. It felt That's real because your mind perceived it to be. Injuries sustained within the Pandora will have the same effect on your brain as those sustained without. Now, stop thinking, Mr. Black. Clear your mind while I bring you out. Oh, Christ. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. A natural response. It will become easier the more we proceed. If it helps, I have prepared a little gift for you. What are you talking about? Outside in the corridor, you see the lines of computer code. All the ones and zeros. Please, approach and proceed. Not that again. now this is another memory not quite consider this a filing cabinet mr black of all the evidence you gather we'll make sense of it eventually any information filed by the pandora is accessible for you in this room each board represents a different memory give it a try look at a couple of boards and see what happens Any connections or links your mind may have made, even unconsciously, are recreated visually by the Pandora. I'm rather proud of this feature. You can study the investigation further or return to the asylum when you're ready. Just use the photo in the middle of the room. Very good, Mr. Black. Your synaptic transitions are becoming much easier. Yeah. The room you just visited will help you stay away from conjecture and concentrate only on the facts. Facts? All I know is that my name is Black, and apparently I stole this corner gun. Precisely. And an expert job it was too. ADS all but went bankrupt after you disappeared with the prototype. But I'm sure we will learn more as you proceed. Like how to get out of here. You are here through choice, Mr. Black. And if you show the same clarity of thought as you did breaking into ADS, then that might not be for too long. Red! Hey! Why is everyone loose? The patients must have their exercise, Mr. Black. Now move along. Uh, oh. Hello. 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 Hello.
for the arriving. Hmm. A guest! <laughs> a guest! Ah, I almost didn't see you there. I'm sleeping around like a cat. Mm. Yes, that's a little black cat. Who's time for tea? How do you take it? One up or two? Ah, one up or two? <laughs> Jesus Christ. The code for the door. I need the code. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Secret code. Mm -hmm. This one's my riddle. You get the secret. Ah, it is a party after all. Ah, it is a party. There must be prizes. Ooh, I love prizes. <laughs> ah, twinkle, twinkle, little cat. How I wonder where you're at. Search for answers high and low. Turn off the lights and let it glow. Little cat lost in the dark. Can you find my secret marks? <laughs> What now? Don't take these guys in your way! Leave him alone! Leave him alone! The party! The party! He's on his way! He's on his way! The rhythm, the rhythm, my music! What will they do? The party! The party! You surprise me, Mr. Black. Temperance? Humility? Perhaps there is hope for you yet. I'm not the one keeping these poor bastards locked up. Blunt, Mr. Black. Very blunt indeed. Do you answer every problem with bullets? Why don't you come down here and find out? What the hell is all this stuff? I just wanted to say that I understand if you don't want to adopt. I'm at the studio this afternoon. Call me when you're back and I'll come straight home. We can talk then. I love you. Just a small reminder from your loving wife. Don't you dare forget our appointment at the clinic today. 2 p.m. sharp. See you then, Mr. Scatterbrain. What just happened? What was that? Ah, you're back with us. Good. Those memories, they felt different. What was that place? 
No need to bother yourself with that, Mr. Black. Just a quirk of the technology. So they were my memories? What's going on? That is none of your concern, Mr. Black. It is irrelevant to your treatment. Now. Let's proceed. Proceed. Right. You! My saviour. I said you wouldn't regret letting me go. This is my art. All my brother's sacrifices to the puppet master. You killed all those people. Why? No, you cannot kill what does not live. They are free. And you will join them soon. Mmm. Your dopamine levels have spiked. Are you enjoying this, Mr. Black? Our first lead, Mr. Black. What do you know? The question, Mr. Black, is what do you know? Let's see if you have any memory of it. So, you do remember this place? Interesting. Please, just tell me why this is important. An unidentified man died at a nearby abandoned warehouse not long before you tried to save the girl. He was shot at point blank range. And we're going back to that warehouse? That's correct, yes. The police wrote the whole thing off as a drug deal gone wrong. But that's not what you believe. I believe everything in life is connected, Mr. Black. The only question is how. Let's find, find out, out, shall we? Jesus, man. Get your hands off. There's money for any of this. Shut up. Move. Wait. I know this place. This is where the explosion happened. Ah, yes. Your mind is preoccupied with the explosion, Mr. Black. The Pandora can only process what your brain offers. Concentrate only on the memory at hand. I am trying. Then try harder. No worries, Chief. Glad to be aboard. Not a hair on her head. Trust me. You brought me here. Fuck you. Red? Hey, Red! What the hell is this? None of this makes any sense. You are here because you have formed a mental link between this man and the explosion. The Pandora is trying to decode the message your mind is sending. Focus. That's it. The Pandora unit is offering you a pathway deeper into your memory. Pursue this. Focus and proceed. Remember, Mr. Black, human memory is unreliable at the best of times. I need you to work with my technology, not against it. Take in your surroundings and get as much information as you can. Police crime scene detected. Multiple homicide. Attending officers Fair and Chadwick. What are we looking at? Multiple homicide. No IDs. I will warn you though, Chief. Fucking stinks in there. Well, then it's a good job I skipped breakfast. Come on. What the hell happened here? Drug deal? I don't know, Chief. Have you seen the weapons they were carrying? 
This looks high end. Yeah, right. International drug deal. <laughs> any dental match. Shot off his hands too. His fingerprints are a bust. Professional job. Shit, this many stiffs and no ID. We can link this to a hundred cases. So, uh, drug deal it is then. What do you reckon? Adam's family or one of my turners lot? Well, well don't worry, decide later. Get the uniforms to bag it all. I'm getting a little peckish. There's that new calf opened up next to the neck. You fancy it? Red, what is this? You are trying to process too much, Mr. Black. The Pandora cannot keep up. Concentrate only on the man you came here to find. There, Mr. Black, right there. Use your scanner. Identify and consolidate your memory. Who is that man? Pandora will do the rest. Identification confirmed. Jasper Prado. Status deceased. There is me thinking we could sort this out like animals. <laughs> you wanna do it, then at least look me in the fucking eye! Sir, we have a name then. Jasper Prado. Boy, here's the keys, you'll drive it. Oh, come on, shit. Why have I always got to drive? Ranks and rank. What now? How do I know this? You don't. The Pandora is cross-referencing your memory with any police files, files in the database. This memory is breaking down. You must move on. Help! This place again? Yes. Your mind is definitely throwing up some kind of link between this Jasper Prado and the explosion. I'm surprised it's this pronounced, though. As if something is... Bothering you. Hurry! Black! For God's sake, hurry! I'm trapped! You can stop this! My readings indicate that you've engaged with an earlier point in the memory. Though we still don't know why you're here. I was here to stop Jasper getting killed, I'm sure. Careful, Black. You're dealing with raw theory. Pay attention to the facts only. You risk imminent corruption if you continue this course. Fuck you, Red. I know why I'm here. Black, I've been reviewing the data. Your disregard of protocol, pursuit of supposition and lack of gathered evidence has rendered this investigation useless. I'm pulling you out. No, Red, not yet. I'm so close. Like I said, you began making assumptions. The Pandora is neutral, Black, and so must you be. Maybe you really were there to save Jasper. But the moment you assume that to be true, you corrupt the simulation and cast doubt over the memory. If you continue to do so, we will not be able to proceed. Maybe I don't want to proceed. 
Oh, I think you do, Mr. Black. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want answers. a different approach this time, Black. Different how? I'd like to try starting... Before Prado was killed. You want me to try again? To save Jasper? I don't want you to try anything, Mr. Black. Everything is prepared for you. Just relax and explore. Yeah, sure. do wrong last time. You just lost your way, Black, that's all. My reading suggests the majority of that memory remains unexplored. Focus this time. Assume nothing. Explore the memory in full. <laughs> Relax and explore. Very good, Mr. Black. Relax and explore. Remember, this is exactly the same memory as the last one, just a little earlier on. We need a clearer understanding of exactly what happened. Understood. This memory is a little temperamental, Mr. Black. I would advise against going in guns blazing. blazing. Try not to get spotted. Right. Mr. Black, I think that something is wrong with this memory again. It's becoming highly unstable. I will try to fix it. In the meantime, I'm sending you a picture. I need you to use it to exit. I'm in that filing cabinet again, aren't I? But what are these? Weapons, Mr. Black. A personal armory, if you will. I thought you said I shouldn't kill. Something about distorting memories. The more evidence you uncover, the less we risk distortion. You're saying that I need to collect all the evidence for each board? That's up to you, Mr. Black. But if you do, the memories become more stable, which means I can reward you with a new toy every now and then. Fair enough. Ah, it seems to have stabilized. Proceed. Uh, hey, hear me out, please. Just, just hear me out. What do you want? You're here for Jasper, yeah? They've got him back there. And why are you here? They locked me up because I was helping him out, but I only did it out of fear, I swear. I've seen him kill people just for disagreeing with him. Please, please, if you leave me here, they'll kill me! What the hell? Still no memory of Jasper. Found his phone, though. He brought me out, Red. There's no way. 
pain. I, I can think this time. Red, did you see that? We've got a name and a place. Rose and a mansion. Red. Red? Are you there? Red! Red, hey, were you watching? Who's Rose? And where is this mansion? Red! We still haven't finished our investigation into this... this Jasper business, Mr. Black. What do you mean, haven't finished? We've got a name, a place. Jasper's dead. We need to... I will say what we need to do, Black. You are here at my convenience, and you wear... My technology. Do not fucking trust me! Nobody crosses me. Okay. Okay, fine. Then what do I do? Red, I said what do I do? Oh, never mind. I'll just proceed, shall I? Listen, it's me. You need to tell me where the fuck you are and what the fuck is going on. You've got a lot to answer for, you know that. Call me back the second you get this or there'll be consequences. Did you enjoy the fresh air, Mr. Black? I'm surprised you didn't try to jump the wall and escape. I want to get to the bottom of this as much as you do. If that were true, that would surprise me. Like I said, Mr. Black, all actions have consequences. You set a lunatic on the loose and just look what happened. Poor Mr. Keating died because of your decisions. Changed her four times in the last three hours. She will not stop. Please, can you take her? I need to lie down for a moment. Well, sure, but I thought we agreed to do this together. I just need to lie down. I've got a PhD in neuroscience. I think I can manage it. Come on, don't be like that. wondering if you wanted... What? It's me. Your son. Calm down, Mum. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yes, that's right. Are you okay? Right. Um, no, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. So, Lenore and I were wondering... Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent garbling. 
What on earth is she doing? So the doctor said that mum can't distinguish between the past and the present. It's all jumbled together somehow. How can a person forget so much? Why can't they help her remember? for one second alone with my thoughts. One goddamn second. One moment she wanted to know why I wasn't in school. The next she was crying and complaining about her son, who never comes to visit. You were there every day. Whether she remembered or not, you were there for her. How can a person just forget? I should have helped her remember somehow. I should have found a way. You did everything you could. She loved you very much. Remember that at least. Mum, why is Daddy so sad? He's worried about your gran, my love. He's just worried, that's all. I really don't see why you hired this one. She doesn't ever seem to know where you are. She won't put you on the phone. She's a good assistant, Lenore. Huge potential. Give her time. I'm sure you'll walk to her. Just keep an eye on her, will you? I don't trust her. Grace said you promised to help with her science homework. Oh, shit. I'm just... C can you help her tonight? Do you mind? Fine. I've got this presentation first thing in the morning. I really feel like I'm on the verge of something here. This would mean so much for us, for the family. You understand, don't you? <laughs> Coming home? God knows, my love. Maybe we should ask Rose Atkins when he'll be home. Maybe she'll even set up an appointment for us. You don't like her. I don't trust her. You don't trust her? <sighs> or you don't trust Dad? Robert, listen. I don't care. You have Grace, and because of that, you have Lenore. But you also have me. And I'm not going anywhere. It won't be long before Grace is old enough to leave home. Until then, there's you, and me, and the work. For now, that's all that matters. I love you. The 
those memories. The youth. Who those memories belong to is entirely irrelevant. They do not contain the answers what we're looking for. Trust me. Now is not the time to start thinking, Black. Nobody cares about whatever theories you may have dreamed up in that little brain of yours. Now is the time to do as I say. Now is the time to proceed. Fuck you. Time to make sense of this mansion Rose's text referred to. I believe she meant Bertarelli Hall. Ring any bells? Should it? The Pandora will let us know either way. I've left a photo out especially. Focus on it and let's see what happens. Where the fuck are you, Jasper? Eric just called and says he hasn't heard from you since yesterday. If I find out you're on another bender the day before the job, so help me, God. Do you have any idea how important tomorrow is? I need you on your A-game, Jasper. So if Eric tells me they found you sucking on a hash pipe again, I will chop your balls off with a pair of rusty fucking hedge clippers. Call me. Deeply intriguing, Mr. Black. It seems you do have some memory of this place. Which means what, exactly? I wouldn't want to speculate at this point. I'm sure the implications will become clear. So, who am I looking for here? Rose? Jasper? Perhaps even both? Let's just see what we can find out, shall we? identified Rose Atkins and Jasper Prado I knew they'd be sending their inside man but I never knew he was fucking gorgeous how you doing we have I'm Jasper and I'm very pleased to meet you you can cut the flattery Mr. Prado I know who you are our employer has filled me in filled you in lucky bastard I'm sorry nothing nothing I get it you're a professional type I suppose you want to see the setup. Cross the eyes, dot the T's. All that shit. Yes, Mr. Prado. Please, show me around. Their first meeting. That's a start. Get as much information as you can, Mr. Black. Be meticulous. Understood. Interesting. Your current location matches coordinates from which FDG servers were remotely accessed. There should be an open terminal nearby. This could give you the information we're looking for. Partial security ID. Fingerprints identified. Rose Atkins. Okay. So we contact Ramsey. We say, give us the memory gizmo or your girl gets it. That's it. That's it. What if he says no? He won't. You said he don't much care for his family. What if he just... He won't. Neutralize? Well, the less I know about that, the better, I suppose. As long as he doesn't change anything. I'd better be able to trust you, Atkins. That would seem to be the case, yes. Keep me updated. And let me know the second she arrives at the safe house. Fingerprints identified. Jasper Prado. No, no, listen, just hear me out. Our employer has given me very specific orders not to let you near any explosives. Sake. You guys have got to trust me. I know my way around the fucking bomb. Not what I heard, Mr. Prado. <sighs> Fuck you. Fuck the Lodius. Security ID complete. Rose Atkins login now available. I pick the best man for the job. In and out, so we know that it's done. Then once we've got her, we just sit tight until the payment arrives. I'm not so sure if it will be that simple. He's paranoid. There's multiple alarm systems, CCTV. Listen, darling, it's a kidnapping, not rocket surgery. To be honest, I've lost count of how many snatches I've done. 
All you need to worry your pretty little head about is that the info you've given us is legit. Do you get me? I assure you my info is legit, Mr. Prado. It's what you're going to do with it that worries me. Hi, Jared. This is Ben. Surprise, surprise. Shit, I wish I could see your face right now, mate. Listen, we all know what you did, you backstabbing son of a bitch. And I thought we were friends. Okay, let's try this out. Ah, the ID works. Only home for another few days now, so let's arrange something soon. Oh, and uh, make sure you check out that link I sent you, you'll love it. Anyway, um, call me back. Bye. Where's Grace? You weren't at work. I called you at work. I called you on your mobile. I even called Rose. Nobody answered. Lenore, where is she? Where's Grace? she is, I'll find her. I promise. You did this, didn't you? What? How could you even say that? Your obsessions, Robert. With work, with your technology, with Rose. It's all led us here. With Rose? Lenore, I have don't. no... Just... Don't. 
Hello? Sorry to call you here, Rob. You weren't answering your mobile. I can't talk right now. I'll speak to you later. Is everything okay? She's gone. Who's gone? Lenore? I have to go. I understand now. That girl, Grace. That was the girl from the explosion. The girl with the bomb was Grace Ramsey. Yes, Mr. Black. The girl you failed to save. And you knew. You put me through all of this to find information that you could have just told me. Or was that not part of my fucking treatment? Mr. Black, I couldn't tell you. I needed you to remember. I needed you to understand who she was. I needed you to say her name. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Black. For Grace. She was taken, kidnapped, held to ransom for Ramsey's memory tech. Your memory tech. It's you, isn't it? You're Robert Ramsey. Yes. I'm Robert Ramsey. And Grace... My grace was abducted for a ransom demand I never received. Oh, I don't know what to say, Robert. I'm just so, so... Save your pity. Save your emotions. I do not need them. All I need to know is who Rose and Jasper were working for. Who was behind it, Mr. Black? I don't know. But isn't it obvious? If I had to make a guess... Then I... you would be making assumptions. We deal with facts here, Mr. Black. Hard evidence. Empirical data. I have my suspicions, yes, but we have come too far to throw it all away on guesswork. We must continue with your treatment. Treatment? There never was any treatment, though, was there? I'm not here through choice, am I? Although your memory is damaged, I see your intuition is not. No, Mr. Black, this is not a hospital, but a prison. And unless you proceed, you will find me to be a less than hospitable warden. I am your lock. I am your key. I can be your enemy or I can be your salvation, but I will have my answers. Now, proceed. Do you like the new safe house? Cozy little place, isn't it? Perfect for the task. I'm sure our mutual friend would approve. Anyway, Make yourself at home, begin your preparations. If you need anything, you let me know personally and I will take care of it. You have three weeks and no excuses. Don't disappoint me. Okay. What do I need to do this time? Search the memory for Rose Atkins. Find out who her employer was. Find out why she would turn on me after I gave her everything. Okay. And then we will find out your involvement, Mr. Black. We still need to know why you were there. Where is this? I don't know this place. Ah, yes. Homewood Cemetery. I'm afraid I do. And if the Pandora has brought you here, then you do too. And how do you know this place? It's next to the company building. It allowed Rose and I to have a certain privacy. Looks like we met here too. So where is she? DNA and fingerprints confirmed. Rose Atkins. Rose? Black, listen. I know you're angry, but the wheels are in motion and there's nothing either of us can do to stop them. I can't have anyone standing in my way, especially not you. I'm starting to remember. I was looking for Grace. I think Rose had her. I was trying to stop her. I didn't want it to be this way, but you're now a liability. Security, make it painless. 
Goodbye, Black. I'm sorry. This doesn't make any sense. Rose wouldn't have access to this many men. An anxious mind is likely to produce more troubled environments inside the Pandora. You're not worried about anything, are you, Black? Yeah. I'm worried about getting shot. It's not real, Mr. Black. Just perceived threat that your mind is heightening inside the Pandora. It still fucking hurts. What on earth? This place again. Red. This is good. This is your mind connecting the dots. These are fragments, but memories nonetheless. Do proceed. What the fuck? What's this? This isn't my memory. No, Mr. Black, this is one of mine. You need to focus and regain control of your environment. Focus on what? I can't remember what happened. Just focus on Rose. The Pandora will do the rest. Listen, Ra. Yeah? When all this is over, why don't we do what we always said? Go away. Leave it all behind. Jesus. Rose, can you not see what's going on here? Just hold off until I've done the audit on Black. He's already been signed over to me, and... Ra, don't do the audit. I'm begging you not to do the audit. Please. For me. Why? Because I love you. There are things you shouldn't know. Things nobody should know. If you dig too deep, I'm worried. Rose. I'll be fine. We'll be fine. You're going too far, Mr. Black. Focus. This is your way out. Use it. My way out? This elevator? Howard is at his. Listen, there's been a complication. We've had to neutralize Black. Howard. It won't change a thing. Jasper and I will see this through and you'll still get the Pandora. Well, it seems you have no choice but to trust me. Fine. I have to go. I'll keep you posted. but I didn't imagine that you would confess your guilt quite so readily. Involved? Involved how? Did you really think I wouldn't notice a memory being so heavily distorted? What are you hiding from me, Black? What kind of games are you playing? I'm just exploring these memories like you asked. Nothing more. If only that were true. Everything would be so much less complicated. I don't know what you're talking about. You've got to believe me. Ah, but I don't, Mr. Black. Not anymore. But Rose did mention a name. Howard. I'm assuming Roger Howard, the man you stole the corner gun from. Did you meet with him? I... Don't worry, Mr. Black. The Pandora will find him. I'm telling you, that's what happened. I promise. So, Rose Atkins is dead. Why is that, Mr. Black? He just saw. Because I pushed her. Same question. And why was that, Mr. Black? It's obvious. You were watching. I was trying to save Grace. Rose was trying to stop me, so I killed her. You saw. I saw nothing of the kind, Mr. Black. 
I only saw distortion, fragmentation, allusions to a truth that I believe neither of us witnessed. If there was any distortion, it's from this piece of shit tin can I'm wearing. I'm telling you, I was trying to save Grace. Words, Mr. Black. You have been less than cooperative throughout this process. There is one question you haven't considered. How did you know that Grace had been taken when I hadn't even received the ransom demand? It doesn't matter. I tried to stop it. By killing Rose Atkins, Mr. Black? I'm afraid that that does matter. It matters a great deal. She said the name Howard. That's who I stole the corner gun from. It was revenge. Must have been. She said it was all his idea. Which confirms my suspicions as to motive. Understand, Mr. Black. The fact that Howard is mixed up in this at all is the only reason you are alive. Now, for the final time, proceed. Long time no see. Ah, to see. There's the gift. Can you see? No. I don't think you do. You see yourself as above everyone in here. Just another inmate, stuck in the past, stuck in here, stuck in a rut. But then, you always were. It's why we're here. It's why we're all fucking here. Oh god, what now? What are these? I just don't fucking know anymore. Can't you see? Open your eyes. It's a party. And you are the guest of honor. Me? Why? What is all this? Can't you all just leave me alone? Said the king to his subjects. Who would watch the puppet show? The puppet show for the puppet master. They've worked so hard, worked themselves to death. It's all for you. Now you got me mistaken. I'm not your master. Oh. But you are. You always were. Now, drink. Drink yourself blind. You can't leave. You must drink. No master is above his subject. Of here now. This has gone on long enough. Calm down, Mr. Black. That glass is bulletproof, shatterproof, and soundproof. Your words cannot reach me, and your bullets cannot harm me. Now, move on. We are so very close to the truth. All 
roads end here, Mr. Black. Time for answers. You know the protocol by now. Let us see exactly what secrets you are hiding. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not hiding anything. We have a name. Howard. He's the enemy. If only it were that simple, Mr. Black. Howard's lost everything when you stole the corner gun from me. It would make sense he'd want revenge. The only question is why would you have any memory of meeting him? The only memory I have of Roger Howard is the night I stole the corner gun. We'll see, Mr. Black. We'll see. This memory looks to be unstable. Disrupt it as little as possible, Black. Don't go in all guns blazing. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see... When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. Then why don't you? You're so exquisite. So flawless in the way you ruined me and my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsey. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsey's head of security. Why would I work for you? Every man has his price, sir. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. And how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history. Far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco, and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse... You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse.
so much time, so much energy figuring out who's to blame, yet you never stop to consider yourself. What the fuck? Ramsey! What's going on? I'm... how to put it... closing the asylum. How are you doing this? What is this place? Oh, this place again. What's it all about this time? I'm afraid I haven't been quite straight with you, Black. My apologies. Right. Once and for all, what the fuck is going on, Ramsay? Where am I now? My memories, Mr. Black. Interacting with someone wearing the Pandora can sometimes create what I call synaptic bleed. Two-way traffic, if you will. <laughs> A flaw in the technology. And the asylum? Oh, forgive me. The asylum was necessary. Son of a bitch. That whole thing was just some big illusion. Simulation would be the correct term. The construct was of my own design, intended to keep your adrenaline at the optimum level for the technology to function efficiently. And the inmates? Patients are yours? The patients were nothing to do with me. I just provided the simulation. But the mind has a wonderful way of filling in the gaps. I show you a creepy old asylum, your mind populates it with lunatics. Likely just half-remembered characters from your life. Sometimes even films and books. Predictable, perhaps, but not unexpected. So you tricked me. This whole thing was a lie. Do you want to talk about lies, Mr. Black? Whose lies and tricks would you rather discuss? Mine or yours? I don't know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. This is Grace's room. You remember her, Black? The girl you tried to save. My daughter. Of course! Then why were you there? You were my employee, Black. My head of security. You knew my daughter had been taken and you said nothing. I don't remember! I don't believe you. What about Lenore, my wife? What about her, Black? I don't know what you want me to say! She left me, Black. She blamed all this on me, and it wasn't my fault. I refuse to accept responsibility for the actions of some terrorist. Tell me what you know! All I know of her is what I've seen here, in your memories. I'm sorry, I can't help you. What about this man, Black? You remember him? I remember you, Ramsey. And I am sorry for what you've been through. But I tried to help. I just didn't get there soon enough. Please, let me go. Is that what you want, Black? To be let go? Of course. We had a deal. Let you go? Happy to, of course. But let me ask you this. Are there any circumstances under which you would not wish to be let go? What the fuck are you talking about? 
Welcome to my office, Mr. Black. Have a look around. I'm sure you'll be able to make sense of everything. What the fuck? This is me. More of your scare tactics, Ramsey. But it won't fucking work. Not anymore. You say you don't remember anything else? That you've told me everything? Then I don't need you anymore. You don't need me? If only you'd been a little more cooperative, things might have been different. Goodbye, Mr. Bray. Wait! I can stand no. for the memories. Robert! Don't do this! I'm sorry! I'm sorry for everything! Wake me up! Please! Just wake me up! Cerebral link, patient number black 001, Pandora unit terminal disconnect. Would you like to commence archive data review, Dr. Ramsey? Uh, yes. Switch to Savant unit playback. Begin the review. Oh, and Hope, could you also fire up the coffee machine? Doctor, prior to review, my medical recommendation would be the implementation of a minimum four-hour rest period. Further caffeine intake will only delay fatigue, not arrest it. Then make it a double shot. Three sugars. I also need a baseline memory to carry out the review. Which was the most stable from those recorded? That would be... this. Cached on initial Pandora system startup of Patient Black 001. Good. You'll then let us explore a complete memory before we review the broken. Proceed with interactive playback. Data review imminently. Decoding memory cache and savant playback. Binary filters online. Servers currently running at optimal speed. Inputting biorhythmic feedback parameters. Deep insulin injection in three, two, one. You are ready to go, Dr. Ramsey. Stay away from me. Stay away. It's okay. I'm afraid. My you. My you. Okay, I'm in. Commencing review. Now, where is... Assimilation parameters stable, Dr. Ramsey. You are free to continue with the review. Ah, here we are. Warping script active, Dr. Ramsey. Good. Okay, let's follow the trail. See what really happened. Save the girl. This is where they... held her. Oh, Christ. I... Careful, Dr. Ramsey. You know, Hope, this is really quite... Satisfying. Doctor, might I remind you to control your emotional engagement while conducting the review? Any spikes in serotonin, dopamine, or adrenaline levels could... I know, I know. Cause distortion. Noted. Thank you, Hope. There seems to be a lot of resistance here, Hope. I wonder, was this a result of Black trying to hide something? Or from the Pandora itself? Yes, Dr. Ramsey. Black perceived threat here, which has bled across from the audit. Nothing I can do. Makes it more difficult. I'm not trained like Black was. No matter. Oh, God. My poor child. Help me. I will fix all this. 
I promise. Emotional spike detected. Caution advised, Dr. Ramsey. I will get to the bottom of this, and whoever is responsible will pay. Dr. Ramsey? Dr. Ramsey? happened to the Pandora playback? I am trying to pinpoint precisely where or when you are. I am afraid your emotional state has caused a minor malfunction in playback. You are outside the code, Doctor. I would recommend caution. The data is unstable, fragmented. You must remain calm or you risk... Don't tell me the risks, Hope. Just get me out. Now, let's see where we are. This place. This is one of my memories. Jesus, Rose. I can't believe you brought them here. What are you thinking? Rose, this is an FDG facility. My facility. Staffed by the best doctors money can buy. There is no better care. I'm not talking about that. You don't need doctors, Rob. You need... You need a fucking mortician. Oh, God, this is such a mess. Rose, just breathe. I need you together. I need you with me on this. Oh no, this is that memory. Doctor, your vitals are reading as erratic. You must calm down or you risk full mental fracture. Too late. Hope, get me out of here. I'm trying, Doctor. Just a little longer. Come on, come on, come on! Where am I? Oh. Doctor? Try reconstructing the memory. Look for and interact with any memory imprints. It will allow me to pinpoint and remove you. I'm trying, Hope. I really am. Just seeing this again is difficult for me. What's happened to this poor fellow, then? Blast injury? Some fragmentation. But we also suspect gastrointestinal injuries, too. Hmm. Nasty. Why were you there, Mr. Black? I need to know. I need your memories. This music should stimulate your recall, Black. It's Grace. My Grace, playing the violin. You used to hear it in my office. Remember, Black. What did you do? Please continue on your current course, Dr. Ramsey. Data indicates that you are making progress. Thank you, Hope. I thought as much. Feels like the Savant and I are beginning to synchronize, finally. Looks like this one's being transferred. He's not particularly stable. Are you sure that's wise? This comes right from the top. We're to transfer him to a private medical facility. That's unorthodox. Who is he? Looks like I can proceed now. I need to get out of the loop. You're ready as you can be, Mr. Black. We'll be moving you tomorrow, okay? Just where is he being transferred, exactly? All we've been told is he'll be picked up in a private ambulance tomorrow morning. What about the girl? Oh, there's nothing we can do, I'm afraid. That poor, poor girl. I did everything I could. There was nothing more I could... Okay, well, he's all theirs, I suppose. Are you sure about this? He's in no fit state to travel. Like I said, out of our hands. Everything's in place for the transfer. We're just waiting on the ambulance. This all seems a little drastic, Robert. Are you sure this is the best decision? He'll be safe in my care. I need to get to the bottom of what happened. I think what you need is sleep. Especially. 
especially after Grace. Do not talk to me about Grace. I won't tell you again. Grace. My poor Grace. One moment, Dr. Ramsey. Your signal is much clearer now. Pulling you out. Ramsey, do you wish to proceed? Yes, Hope. Apologies. How many problem memories did I bookmark in the audit? Three problem memories were bookmarked. And they're all significantly corrupted? Yes, Dr. Ramsey. We should have sufficient data to make sense of them when reviewed. Let's review in the same order we audited, Hope. Load the first bookmark. Loading. Savant playback, bookmark 001, the death of Jasper Prado. A warning, Dr. Ramsey, this memory is highly fragmented. Which is precisely why I marked it for review. I want to see what, if anything, Black was hiding. Your notes on the memory are succinct, Doctor. What exactly happened to Prado? Yes, what indeed. Thank you for the reminder. But the question isn't really what happened to Prado, moreover how it happened. I would also remind you to work quickly, Dr. Ramsey. I will keep the memory stable for as long as the Savant encryption allows. Black! For God's sake, hurry! I'm trapped! You can stop this! I was here to stop Jasper getting killed. I'm sure. To stop Jasper getting killed. To stop Jasper getting killed. To stop Jasper getting killed. That? Did you let him in? Cole Black. You don't want to mess with that guy, mate. Trust me. Yeah, but has he got clearance? You can ask him if you want, mate. I'm leaving him well alone. Black, for God's sake, hurry. I'm trapped. You can stop this. Jasper, you brought this on yourself. I warned you so many times. I've got too much to lose here. Black, for fuck's sake, listen to me! Curiouser and curiouser, Mr. Black. I'm here now. Just keep him there. Don't worry, I just need to talk to him, that's all. Whatever you do, don't listen to him. He can be one slippery bastard. Oh, so it looks like you did see Prado before he died. I wonder... I believe we're getting close to the point of Jasper's unfortunate Hope, how stable is the memory? Holding up, Doctor, but more quickly. Dr. Ramsey, I'm detecting extreme resistance ahead. Proceed with caution. Yes, Black's memories are trying to block themselves. What did you see, Mr. Black? wrong please where's jasper just up ahead i heard him shouting please what's going on they took him and i don't know on whose order i tried to stop it that's why they threw me in here and you said you'd done nothing wrong you're lucky to be alive pal please don't leave me here
I'm not seriously thinking about pulling that trigger. Fuck me, man. This is all a bit drastic. Let's just talk about this. You crossed the line, friend. You do this, you're gonna ruin everything. Wheels are in motion. Everything changes if you try and stop this. Okay, let's reconstruct this mess. Hope, do we have sufficient data? Yes, Dr. Ramsey. Run simulation. I was like you, Jasper. Listen to me. Just put the gun down, okay? You do this, and everything changes. Just put the gun... What's happened now, Hope? Memory corrupted, Dr. Ramsey. A byproduct of the reconstruction. Is the memory fighting to protect itself? Possibly. Or the result of exploring an amnesic memory. This is untested ground, Doctor. Neutralize the threat, and I can pull you out. told me he was there to save Jasper. Hope, was this memory deliberately corrupted? Insufficient data to draw a reliable conclusion, Dr. Ramsey. Huh. Killed him. And all we have to go on is that Jasper wasn't doing as he was told, and that he crossed a line. Make a note of that, Hope. Note recorded. Okay. Let's load up the second bookmark. Loading, but please note, this is the most corrupted of the bookmarked memories. The geography of certain details may be fragmented. Black also perceived threat here, which will bleed across from the audit. You may need to engage in combat again, Dr. Ramsey. Caution advised. Understood. This was the Holmwood Cemetery memory, correct? Correct. Black, listen. I know you're angry. I know you're angry. But the wheels are in motion. Wheels are in motion. I didn't want it to be this way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I remember now. I killed her. I killed her. I killed her. Right. I'm in. Let me take a moment to orientate myself. Proceed with caution, Doctor. I'm picking up heavy resistance, embedded within the playback code. And let's find a weapon. Prado, it's Black. Listen, mate, you need to fucking stop this right now. I told you the situation was delicate. I told you no improvising. Call me back. Commencing playback, Doctor. what you've brought me all the way out here to ask. Hey, you chose the meeting place, Morticia. Oh, Jesus, Black, I don't understand. I mean, yes, of course I'm tired of the way things are with Robert. Living in his shadow, both at work and... Well, but it won't be like this forever. I believe that. You've worked for him long enough. You know what Robert's like. Yeah, yeah, I do. That's what I asked. Just think about it. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. My office door is always open, Black. Please, take a seat. Hmm. Geography seems broken on this one. All right, Atkins. Now what the fuck is going on? Black, listen. I know you're angry, but the wheels are in motion and there's nothing either of us can do to stop them. I can't have anyone standing in my way. Especially not you. So you can have me killed now. Is that it? I didn't want it to be this way, but you're now a liability. Security! Make it painless. Ah, for fuck's sake, Atkins. Goodbye, Black. 
I'm sorry. Right. What the fuck is going on? And where the fuck is Predo? I will not fucking calm down. Tell me what's going on. Tell me why I wasn't informed, or heads will fucking roll. Just calm down for a moment. I can't talk on this phone. Meet me at Holmwood Cemetery. I'm heading there now. You are getting close, Dr. Ramsey. The memory data is cached and decoding. This memory was blocked deeper than the previous. Is this because we had readings from conflicting synaptic layers? Negative, Doctor. It seems the block came from a conscious effort on the subject's part to hide specific details. Of course. Thank you, Hope. Let's proceed. No, I won't be staying. Go on. People are talking. You gotta stop these run-ins with Lenore. You do not want people pointing fingers. Oh, come on, Black. She waltzes in here, and any time she sees me, she loses it. What am I supposed to do? I work here. I have to be able to stand up for myself. I know. But no matter what's going on with you and Ramsey, she's still the big man's wife. Calm it down. At least for the foreseeable. Only bad things will come of it if you don't. Is that a threat? No, Atkins. It's just some... Friendly advice. Doctor, all memory recordings of Rose Atkins have been accessed and reviewed. Would you like me to prepare a simulation for you to explore? Just give me a second, Hope. Okay. Let's find out just how involved she was. We all stood to benefit from this. We all agreed. And we all will benefit. The original plan was there for a reason. Relax, Black. Just as good at what he does. You don't give him enough credit. I told you to keep an eye on him. I told you to manage this. It's better this way, Black, don't you see? Ramsey doesn't care about Lenore. He cares about me. It's far more effective to get the girl, and it's the same outcome either way. No, not the same outcome, Atkins. The plan was to break him, not provoke him. I was a pawn in a game you didn't even know was being played. Grace? I could live in any clearer. Get Lenore on side. Bring her in peacefully. No one gets hurt, I said. And do not let that idiot Jasper near any form of explosive. He doesn't know what he's doing. He seems to know a lot about bombs to me. You don't know bombs, Atkins, and you don't know him. But I know both, and I can tell you this with absolute fucking certainty. He has put the lives of anyone near that bomb in danger, his own men included. That bomb goes off, we're all fucked. Are you able to detect Grace's presence in this memory? Negative, Doctor. What on earth is happening here? Have you got the girl? We brought her in, yeah. And the ransom demand? Not yet. We'll send it in the morning. And it's not too late. Don't get any ideas. You can't do anything to stop this black, so don't even try. Listen very carefully. 
You're going to tell me where he's keeping her, or I'm going to kill you. Do you understand? Don't be ridiculous. Tell me, or I kill you. The one glimmer of hope in all this, my savior. He wasn't even trying to save me. He was trying to save himself. So. Oh. Is it possible that... Is what possible, Doctor? Never mind. You. you didn't do this for your family. You did it for yourself. You want to know the role your family, your mother, played in all this? An excuse. An excuse for just another one of your obsessions. Another playback malfunction, Dr. Ramsey. Recommend abandoning the review until emotional stability returns. I am perfectly stable. Just bring me back out. I left this behind for you, you know. Setting up my own studio, taking on commissions. I left it all behind to be your wife. And for what? <sighs> Shit. We were an inconvenience to you, Grace and I. It's not just that you neglected us. It's that you didn't even want us there in the first place. Having difficulty locating you, Dr. Ramsey, you may have to find your own way out. No, I honestly don't. I don't know what any of this was about. But if it was all about Rose, go and be with Rose. If it was all about your precious Pandora, go and be with your work. Do whatever you want. But I won't be part of it. Not anymore. You're right. I don't care about the implications of your work, Robert. I've never cared. And changing the world means nothing to me if I can't have my family. long to realize that you were never going to have the decency to leave me. You know what I've come to understand? 
For all your genius and passion. For all your talk of changing the world. You're a coward. You're just a coward. I must recommend abandoning review. Emotional stability is required in order to proceed safely. Let's load up the third bookmark, can we hope? Did you hear me, Dr. Ramsey? I said I recommend abandoning... I heard you! I heard you. Please, just load the third bookmark. Yes, Doctor. Loading. Please note, as with the second bookmark, memory geography is likely to be fragmented, and combat is a strong possibility. Th thank you, Hope. This is Black's meeting with Howard, correct? Confirmed. You tagged this memory with reference to both Black and Howard, Dr. Ramsey. Final piece of the puzzle, it seems. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. Talk. Good. I'm going to see him now. You still on board? I don't know for sure, no. But I've got a pretty good idea. Yeah, well, if that's the case, it's been a pleasure knowing you. I don't know. Call it instinct. Speak later. Memory glitch is becoming more well, and more I'd frequent. Say my greatest strength is probably my determination. Because I'll work harder than anyone else. If something needs doing, I will do whatever it takes to get it done. Damn you, Rose. Damn you to hell. This could all have been avoided if I just listened to Lenore. I'm afraid I was black. Alive for now. Yeah, maybe some other time, right? Listen, I might have some work to throw you away if you're interested. Pays good. Situation is delicate, though, you understand? You're not going to be allowed to improvise on this one. Yeah? Sure. I'll call you more details if it's a goer. Not again. This has to stop. But I got you a present. It's a notebook for all your brilliant ideas that will change the world. So you never forget. Oh, Lenore. What have I done? Right, so there's convection. Grace? My dear Grace, I wish I could explain everything to you, to help you understand. Which is energy that's emitted from an object, right? <laughs> you make a really good teacher, you know that. I will find out who is responsible for this, Grace. Whatever it takes. I promise. 
sweet dreams. So what's the deal? You got the money. Here. It's a genuine meeting. He's got some plan he thinks you can help out with. Ask me if I thought it was crazy getting you involved. And do you? I think you're a man that can be trusted. I suppose we'll find out. Thanks. Dr. Ramsey, you've gone completely off-grid this time. Are you safe? I'm safe. Just pull me back out. Searching for you now. Concentrate on the memory you wish to return to. Focus on Howard, Dr. Ramsey. See if you can locate him. Mr. Black. Been a while. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see. When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. You've... seen this? Then why don't you? You were so exquisite. So flawless in the way you ruined me and my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsey. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsey's head of security. Why would I work for you? I don't understand. How can this be the truth? Every man has his price, Black. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history. Far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I never saw it like that. He was my employee. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price, within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse... You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. This never made any sense. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. 
I don't agree to any of it. I refuse. There was more. Clever boy, Black. You've got to believe me. I'm telling you, that's what happened. I promise. I'm not hiding anything. Surprising. And very foolish. However, I will allow you to work for me. Go on. I have a plan that I know will work. I have people in mind who I know will help. I don't want your money. I want your manpower and your resources. I'll be in charge and I'll take down Ramsey from the inside. In return, I'll get you Ramsey's Pandora tech. You do exactly as I say or there's no deal. So it was you. I trusted you, Black. I gave you work and paid you well. And this is how you repay me. After all we've been through together. Everything that happened to my family, to Grace, it was all because of you, my own employee. Well, you're not so imposing a figure now, are you, Mr. Black? Nothing but a vegetable in my basement. I could do whatever I want, and there would be nothing you could do about it. Well, fuck you, Black. Fuck you to hell. You were dead when you came in here, and there's no way I can let you go now. You were the architect of my downfall. Perhaps ending you is a mercy I will come to regret. I will find out in time. Goodbye, Cole Black. Doctor, I'm getting some very strange readings. Extreme caution advised. You never found out what was important! Grace? Grace? Is that you? I understand now. I understand everything. I know you're there. I know you're watching. You had it all backwards! I know. My child, I, I know I did. Grace, can you hear me? You had a family that loved you. Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me! How could you get it so wrong? Grace, shit! Grace, if you can hear me, I'm going to show you some things, okay? I'm going to show you how all this came to be. Your mother was right. This was all my fault and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me help you understand. Grace, please. You let us all down. You put your creation before your family. No, no, you let dear. me down. I know. I was so fool. <laughs> Please, give me a chance to explain. I needed a dad. Where were you? Let me show you. You're familiar with this man by now, my love. He protected everything I'd worked to build. Did all the dirty work for me. But I made a terrible mistake. I know this 
this will upset you, and I'm sorry. But your mother and I, we just grew apart. Rose understood what I was trying to accomplish with the Pandora in a way that nobody else could. And I did love her. But I never stopped loving you, Grace. I thought we could finish up a little early today. Go and grab a meal at that new Thai place. Let off a little steam. <laughs> what do you think? If this is going to work out between us, you need to understand that Lenore and Grace will always be part of my life. That's just something you need to accept. You either commit to something, or you end up with nothing. I couldn't commit to Rose, because I didn't want to abandon my family. And I couldn't commit to my family because I was too consumed by my work. And Rose was right. I ended up with nothing. I can't live like this any longer. With every day that passes, another little bit of me dies. I know you're too blind to see it, but you did this to her. I can't bear the sight of you, and I refuse to be your wife. I couldn't commit to her. Couldn't give her the love she deserved. But I refused to let her go. And as for you, Grace, my darling daughter, I loved you so much. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent gambling. What on earth is she doing? I just didn't understand what it meant to be a father. All right, you. Come here. Although I have no idea what you're saying, and I can say with a reasonable degree of certainty that you have no idea what I'm saying either. I got it wrong, Grace. And I'm sorry. Your mother once said I used you as an excuse to work. I don't know if she was right. But I know I wanted you to be cared for, and I know I wanted you... I wanted you to have a father you could be proud of. I'm sorry. I failed. <gasps> okay, Grace. It's time to finish the session. You've seen everything. Just give me a moment. trying to communicate with me. You said he was dead. He is. All you're seeing is remnants of his consciousness, created by the Pandora reacting to the artificial stimulants flooding his system. It's, it's complicated. I, I need to see what happened to him. Send me back in. Grace, it's not a nice thing for anyone to watch, let alone his daughter. Are you absolutely sure about this? He's my father. I want to know. I need to know. <sighs> oh, God. Howard. Ramsey. Just relax, okay? There's no need for the gun. Dad. You did this. You were responsible. Put the gun down. Responsible. Let's have a sensible, grown-up conversation. <laughs> you approached my staff, my employees, and you turned them against me. I think we both know that's not true. You took. My daughter away from me. I did no such My thing. My family. Son of a bitch. My wife. Robert, you need to sit down. <laughs> Let me 
me get you a drink. No! Responsible. Someone needs to pay for this. You've upset a lot of people, Robert. I'm not the only one with a score to settle. So, you admit it. I admit you stole my invention. You admit it. My life's work. Responsible. Claimed by a thief as his own. You did this. So, yes. Add me to the list of people you royally fucked off over the years, Ramsey. But I accept no responsibility for a mess you created. Dad, Dad, don't do it. Dad, Dad please don't do it. No. Dad. No. You did this. And I think you already know that's true. Responsible. I didn't. Responsible. It wasn't me. It's okay. It wasn't me. Just give me the gun. And let's put all this behind us. Okay? Responsible. Someone do needs to pay. No, 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 no. Please, 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 Dad, 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 put it down, put it down! Dad! Dad, please! Dad! Please! Dad! So, that's it. For all I know, the Pandora is just simulating my consciousness. I still don't fully understand it, even now. But I left it all to you, Grace. I learned from Howard's mistakes. I own the patent, and measures are in place to ensure they can't just replicate it. It needs to be in the hands of someone like you. Someone pure. I love you, my darling. And I'm sorry. Grace? Grace, my love. Are you okay? Yeah. The technology has no adverse effects that we know of. She'll be absent. I wasn't talking to you. Grace. I, I, I'm fine, Mum. I'm, I'm thinking... Grace, listen to me. I've done everything you asked. All we need is for you to sign a few papers and we can continue where you're... Sweetie, you don't have to make this decision now. You're exhausted. Let's just head home, okay? Grace, talk to me. All you need to do is sign, and we'll transfer the money within You're 20 weeks. You're a piece of work, you know that. Lenore, this is between me and Grace. This isn't anything to How do with you. How fucking dare you! Uh, I'm in a room with my crippled daughter, my dead husband, and my dead husband's whore! This is everything to do with me! Lenore, this is business. And from what I heard, your dead husband very nearly left you for that whore. You... Shut up! Shut up, both of you! Mum, I've got this. You put me in this wheelchair. You do realise that, don't you? Well, without you, my parents are still together and my father is still alive. Grace, what are you saying? Are you telling me she's responsible for all Grace, this? Grace, I don't know what you saw. You want her to sign those papers? You want her to allow you to work with Robert's technology? Then you don't fucking grace her. To you, she is Miss Ramsey, and you don't speak unless you're spoken to first. Am I making myself clear? Yes. Perfectly clear. Perfectly clear? Miss Ramsey. How many functional headsets do we have? Fully functional. Only one, Miss Ramsey, your father. This one? That's right. No. No! No, Grace! And now you have none. <gasps> do you have any idea what you've just done? This ends today. My father was a misguided man who didn't understand what he was dealing with. And I certainly can't trust you to do the right thing. Going to regret that. No, I won't. 
Nobody should be obsessing over things they can't change, shutting themselves off from the present. Memories belong in the past, and my father deserves to be dead. You're playing a very dangerous game, Grace. Threats? Oh, how very original of you, Rose. Well, what are you going to do? Kidnap me again? Strap another bomb to me? There is nothing you can threaten me with that's worse than what I've already been through. So fuck the headset, and especially fuck you! <sighs> Let's go home, Mum. Of course. You haven't heard the last of this, Grace. It's Miss Ramsey. And yeah, I have. Wait! Come back! Let's discuss this! No! There's nothing more to talk about. Grace! Goodbye, Rose. Goodbye... Dad. <sighs>